ask mom, is everything okay? And she had this this look on her face that was like she seemed somewhat in shock. And um, I, I asked her again, mom, is everything okay? And she said a plane just flew into one of the buildings. And I'm like, one, those towers meant so much to not only New York but for the world or the United States. It meant uh, strength and um, stability. On September, on September 11th, um, it started out for me as a, you know, just like everyone else, a really nice, it was a really nice day, and I think that's something everyone, when they think of September 11th, they think of um, how nice it was on that day. I was working at home that morning grading papers and uh, my wife who was at work called me on the phone and told me that I should go and put on the television and watch what was happening in New York City. So I went downstairs and turned on the television and spent the rest of that day and that evening uh, transfixed by, by what I was seeing. So 9-11, September 11th, 2001, was my first week of teaching at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, I was uh, teaching my lecture course when the towers were hit. I went back to the office having absolutely no idea what was going on, where I found a colleague of mine who was a friend of mine from graduate school. And she was hysterical. She lived in New York. She could not reach her nanny who had her two children with her. She could not reach her husband. And I spent some time um, calming her down. We as New Yorkers at the time did not have the resources to deal with an attack of that magnitude. So for me it was, I just, I know, I don't care what it is that I'll be doing, I just knew that there was, there was a place for me down there to help out. Just all that metal, the debris, you, wit you know, I witnessed the debris falling. Um, leading up to that, you see part pieces of what I thought was the building, but people taking their own life. Um, and that was devastating to me. And while crawling across a lot of the debris, I, I felt I wasn't scared, I wasn't nervous, I felt that this is what I had to do. Um, even though I was enduring a lot of, for instance, the concrete and rebar was so hot that it would melt my boots as I would crawl across. When I touched the rebar, it would burn my hand. Once I got to ground zero, I ended up helping and, um, and rescuing two Port Authority police officers, myself and another Marine. And after rescuing, and that was the first day, um, both of those men I speak to today, you know, every, now it's every day, but I speak to them to this day, uh, Will Hemino and John McLaughlin. And both of those men are great men. It's when I see them and how they um, interact with their families, it was just, it makes it that much more worth it. Um, I think that what changed after 9-11 is uh, that uh, the United States stopped being um, perceived in any way as invincible. In many ways, 9-11 really marked the end of what, in some ways, was the American century. Um, uh, that the United States could be... Um, uh, somewhat immune to the violent upheavals that so much of the rest of the world had been um, besieged by, that idea slipped away with 9-11 or came crashing down. The most important consequence, uh, in my opinion, is that the United States has made a conscious decision uh, to sacrifice 
civil liberties in the name of national security and personal safety. Uh, since 9-11, uh, the United States government has dramatically uh, ramped up its surveillance capabilities. Um, ordinary Americans are now under much greater scrutiny, whether by satellites or other forms of surveillance than ever before. Um, anyone who's traveled to an airport can uh, see what the uh, impact of 9-11 has been in that sense. Um, I will also say that 9-11 leads very directly to military conflict in Iraq and Afghanistan. Светът е много променен. Значи, непрекъснато ескалира напрежение и терористични актове по примера на групировката на Бен Ладен, след това се появиха други групировки, започнаха локални войни главно в далечния изток и света стана много по несигурен и по и по 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 неприятен, по лош. Times like these, a little tenderness is all I need. Your loving touch sets my mind at ease.